um, good evening um, everyone oh it's evening here okay um good day depending on the time you're watching this i'm doing this video for those who are having issues uh, with finding uh, information about professors in the school or department that they are applying for so i just want to make a quick demonstration and then you see i just want to search a random university and i'm going to search a random department for you to be able to see how to search for the professors so i will search for different um, universities i will search different professors and you will see uh, how to get to know the research they are doing uh, not only professors i mean not only different universities i also said different departments for you to see how this is done now this is department of chemistry university of uh, is this south carolina or something so this is the research work that they are doing and all those stuff so if i want to search for the professor of course you can see some professor's name here but this will not give you the real thing um, that they do so i come somewhere here so one of the places you can go to is people when you click people you should be able to see the faculty members if you even click um research you should also you should also lead you to some um faculty members eventually but let's start with people people you see under this you can see faculty so i click faculty and then you see each of the names of the professors and then you see a little bit about the research work that they do and then you see the different names different professors and all those stuff so let's start let me click um alexander v so associate professor of chemistry one other thing you can see that it's possible that you see a link to their own web page um of course you can see the research focus okay you see they have a group website here so the next thing i do is to go to their group website and i see what they are doing so from the group website you can see that they do really good stuff here um bendaski research group <clears throat> and then you see different things that they do and you see you see the different papers that they have written and all these other stuff and this is enough for you to know about what they do in the research in the group research group and then it's enough for you to be able to write your um statement of purpose or whatever you're writing or to be able to um to speak to them see you will see what they have been doing the years different years and all those stuff the papers they've released and all those stuff so this is one beautiful information for you all right let's let me pick one other person here before going to another school or another department okay this is uh, professor richard l uh, you see they also have a group website so you just go to the group website and see what they do click on the research and then you see different things you can read a lot you have enough to write whatever you are looking for okay so that's one good way which can do it um another way remember i said you can search through research some schools you will not see people you will not see faculty so you can go through research okay so you just go to research centers and programs you see you see bridge institute blah 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 for me in writing sop these are some of the things you can use as a reason for choosing the university oh they have a center for advanced sustainable energy blah 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 you just put it there and all those stuff these are beautiful things now if you click this you will see professors that are dealing with some of these oh that's not clickable okay um let's see what's clickable here okay bridge is click bridge institute and then you see what they do you should be able to see some of the professors who do stuff here raymond stevens uh, not necessarily that uh, okay i can't get to see what they actually which professor is doing what yeah but of course if i had the time um i'll be able to navigate it but i just wanted to show you that it's one way of searching what they actually do research facilities you see you want to know about their research facilities and remember you write in your sop that hey i'm choosing this school for their research facilities this and that these are some of the ways you can actually know what the research facilities are you see nmr spectroscopy center these are so if you are choosing this school you just write to them that these are the things that you saw that um, made you apply to this school all right quickly let's go to another school uh university of uh let's see let me just write university of florida 
Florida Sociology. Sociology. Okay. University of Florida Sociology. So this is UF Sociology. And I want to know what, what do they have? What are the professors? Why are the professors there? How do I know um, what the professors do? So, of course, I just come here basically about about news undergraduates people you see other people yes so i just come here faculty and staff okay so this is it the people faculty members so this is this is the name in fact these guys have their own cv here this even makes it very easy okay let me see if i click on his name it brings something about him and then i can see what he does his whole stuff i can see his research what his research is all about uh you can okay it's not clickable uh, i can check his cv okay if i want to know what is all uh what do you call it now stuff is about you can see his cv okay this is very beautiful and i can see oh this still respect and is a professor oh teaching research oh okay 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 all right assistant professor of sociology so you can see each of the professors just click on them you can see what they do you can see things they do they may have your okay this one has a personal web page so all you just need to do is go to the personal web page and you can search everything this person does there and then you can see areas research blah 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 you can see the this is the um um no this is about our research so you can see things that she has written before there's the biography website link research id yeah that's our research id which we just click and then you should be able to see some of the papers they've written okay book chapters you see and then all the stuff so you want to read some of these things you want to read the latest you want to know what exactly they are working on so this is one way in which you can actually know uh what they do it's very very important very very important very important of course i received a message from someone this evening who was asking me uh, how to search for all these things and that's why i'm doing this let me just do something random again uh, let's say i want to search um, i'm dealing with let's say university of colorado boulder colorado this is the last one i'll be doing uh, the last example Colorado Boulder and then um, department um, let's say department public health public health so uh, I go okay um, I come I love I prefer this to that okay so this is public health uh, nesting straight away I just come here you see, I see they, they have what, what they call faculty slash staff here. So I just come here, faculty slash staff, and then I see, okay, doesn't look like I'm seeing anyone. See, um, okay, I can't really see anything. Yeah, oh, oh no, this is their health and wellness center. Oh no, that's like their clinic uh no that's not where oh yeah yeah that's not where i'm looking for public health so let's go to this first one yeah this is where i should be actually yeah so where do i go here yeah, i'm looking for anything that looks like faculties like staff or anything that looks like uh, research okay um oh no this is not exactly where I need to be <laughs> okay 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 so public health you know that you know why it's given that uh, these different results that I know what I need is because public health is something related to clinic and all those things not necessarily uh, okay let me put assistantship so it should bring me to somewhere in the department okay Okay, certificate program. So let's start from here. We are public health certificate program. Undergraduate certificate in public. Okay, it seems they don't really have um, 
yeah i think that's all they have on in boulder for public health they don't really have a phd okay let me see phd public health phd phd okay okay graduate program okay it seems they don't it seems they don't have phd doctor of law school of public health okay they have yeah eventually yeah they have phd doctor of philosophy so all i just need to do is just come here same thing we have been doing and then we look for people right we can find people research and practice resources okay this is an, an example of where you need to now start looking remember i said research is one of the ways you can find okay before research resources looks like one thing you can see okay resources uh then directory is what i want to go to filter by department okay so it's a lot of search just of course you know the basic things you need to do some schools it will be a bit difficult to know where exactly you need to go to but i believe this short video you already know exactly what you should do so um don't be discouraged search what each professor is doing this helps you to write things down in your statement of purpose you can write about their research you can write there about the um different facilities they have in the school this makes your sop your statement of purpose a very strong one all right thank you for checking out my videos again today uh, god bless you really good have a nice time